Hello everybody, uh, happy Saturday. Uh, this video was a little late so that I could make sure that I had as much up-to-date information to give you as possible, but here is what to expect and what's happening uh, in LPSD. So uh, many of you are wondering about reopening as this conversation kind of begins to take hold everywhere. So there is a very structured process uh, that is underway. If you read uh, Dr. Summers' email yesterday, he mentioned a consortium and working with a number of um, other districts through uh, a uh, company or a group out of Massachusetts. Uh, I am a part of that and having seen how it's structured and how that conversation will go, uh, I think this will produce a very solid plan for what the fall will look like. Um, please be prepared to give feedback in July though. Uh, I will advocate as best as I can for everybody, but when that plan comes out, um, I've been told that it will be open for public comment please take a chance to make sure that you comment on that and put in any input that you feel was left out or that maybe you agree or disagree with. Um, but the big thing with this is there are a number of stakeholders in the district and we will make sure that things are as safe as possible for everybody and that learning is as solid as it can be in the fall. But this was a very good comment that came up. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. We're going to do the best we can with the situation we have. Uh, just a quick update on the budget. We're not going to go into huge breakdown like I did last week. So if you're curious about what was in the budget, please go to last week's video. I'll link it in the description below um, if you have any questions about that. Uh, from what I understand, the, the board will be voting on the budget this Monday. So uh, we will know about that, though funding is not finalized at the state level yet. Uh, here's what you need to know from state and national leg legislative actions. Um, I've been uh, mentioning this and I've told you before um, that the, the emails and phone calls that we're making are so important. And keep in mind that it's not just LPEA that's advocating for what we need or you. It's associations from across the state are encouraging their members to contact in. And so it's not just your one voice, it's all of our voices together that are making a difference. The House has passed a version of the budget. Um, I don't have any big updates from that. It's now on to the Senate. Uh, and then the conference committee um, I have question marks there because originally there was a plan for when they were supposed to come together for conference committee, but things keep changing and it keeps getting pushed back, so we don't know when conference committee is right now. Uh, I mentioned this last week. The CDE draft reopening framework was released uh, last week. I read through it. I submitted my comments. We'll talk about that on the next slide, but I encourage you to do the same. The HEROES Act is currently held up in the U.S. Senate, so uh, it's been about three or four weeks since I talked about advocating at the federal level for aid for schools in Colorado. Now this falls under the HEROES Act. The HEROES Act did pass uh, the House of Representatives, but it is currently held up in the Senate. This would provide funding relief to Colorado schools. So um, we're going to talk about that on the next slide, but please be aware that that is there. Um, so what can you do? Uh, still contact your state lawmakers. We're advocating for keeping the budget stabilization factor flat and avoiding cuts to schools rem by removing unfunded mandates and cut back in other areas of education that actually don't affect what happens in our classrooms. Um, right now, I don't have an action network link like I did for your state representative, but uh, once I have one for your state senator, I will share it out with you. If you would like to just go ahead and write your own email, I'll put a link in the description below on how to find who your state senator is through this website. Uh, you can also continue to call using this phone number. Whatever you do, include your story, talk about why education funding is so important and why we should be avoiding any and all cuts to education. Um, my apologies for this little yellow highlight here, but um, the other part, I'm, uh, there's now sort of an action network for the federal level for our, our Colorado senators in DC. Um, I filled out mine. It encourages federal funding for Colorado education through the passage of the HEROES Act. I encourage you all to reach out that way. Join your voice with every other voice from Colorado that's saying we need to incur, ensure funding for Colorado. So you can find that link below. Um, what else can you do? 
Uh, in the links below, again, I'm going to include the CDE draft framework. Um, there's a PDF link, or you can try to get through the, um, the website. Either way, read through it, provide your feedback. They will read it, and hopefully this will help guide what this looks like. Um, paid organizing. So this is something new this week. Um, some people have been asked about it, but the application deadline is Monday, and so we're putting it out to everybody. So if you would like, this paid organizing is through CEA, but CEA would pay you to uh, reach out to other members in LPEA. There's more information in the link below. I'm not going to try to say it all, but if you're interested in that, it's a good little summer job for anybody that's interested in it, and it helps us in the Lewis Palmer Education Association. Um, this kind of falls into that, our powers and our membership, and these small actions, though they may seem small to you, they all add up to make a huge big difference. And again, invite a new member. The more we are, the stronger we are. That's part of what the paid organizing is. Um, we, you've heard about it before. There's individual perks, uh, financial perks for being a member. Um, there's also the legal side that's very helpful that we all get. But the big thing is, the more we are, the stronger our voice when it comes to a seat at a table. I read an article a few weeks ago about uh, Colorado uh, local EA out on the plains that experienced a huge growth in membership. And, and one of their members said it really well. There is always going to be a table. And being a part of an education association ensures that you have a seat at the table and that you're not on the menu. So that was just a really interesting metaphor I heard. But the more we are, the stronger we are, and the more we can have our voices heard in what we need in the district. So um, thanks, everybody. There's not a whole lot of new stuff this week, so this will be a shorter video. But, you know, get outside still as you can. You, it's Saturday, and so we've had like three hailstorms come through here. But I'm looking forward to getting back outside and finishing building. Uh, for me, it's a duck coop, but also helping get the garden going. Um, I'm, I'm going to go back out now that the winds have passed and put out my hummingbird feeders as, as well. And again, find a way to engage your mind. Find, pick up a book, find a good documentary, watch something new, uh, play a game with someone. My wife and I stumbled across this game. I'm only mentioning it because those of you with kids that are wondering maybe what to do on these stormy days that doesn't involve a screen, this game Splendor. My wife and I have been loving it, so you might as well. Um, that's it for this week. Stay safe, uh, take care of each other, and we'll talk to you soon.